Uh, well, complete mind lapse. He just casted his games. Why can I? Why can I not remember him? Ugh, awful, awful. I do apologise. God, it was uh, wanna play. God, ugh. Wanna play. Yeah. So frustrating. How can you forget wanna play? He's amazing. I, I know. I just, I just have complete He's mental breakdowns. Don't worry. That's that's of course because there wasn't enough forms to fill out. As we discussed earlier, we need we need certain amounts of paperwork to remember things. In it's triplicate. In triplicate, carbon copied, um, <laughs> sent back, then posted back to us again. With a at which point, <laughs> with a receipt, signed for. Um, but no, as we've got in the well, when let's introduce these two. In the top left position, the orange zerg. It's Dabu. And in the bottom right, as our red Protoss, it is Druid's history. With a big O. <laughs> History. History. <laughs> Sounds like an Irish name. <laughs> History. <laughs> I, I don't know where that came from, but like, it's true. Anything it's with like an when O. It, anything with an O. O'Leary. It's like, it's always, I always feel sorry for things like um, rugby commentators or football commentators when an Irish team's playing because there's so many players with the same surname. Oh no, um, they had this in the Welsh rugby team. One game there was four Williams all on this pitch at the same time. And Williams passes to Williams, and Williams yeah. is going for the run, and four Williams... Four Williams, two Jones, and a Phillips. <laughs> Just, uh, that Jones is... Jones to Jones. <laughs> to Williams, to Williams, to Jones, to Williams. <laughs> Back to Jones, then another one to Williams, and oh wow. Look at this. History taking double gas. Mm. Mm. This is well. To be fair, it's a one gate. It's a gateway expand. It's going to be for a quick mothership course, so nothing too crazy, nothing too worrying. So that's fine. I, I don't have a problem with this. But on whirlwind, I'm not sure my thoughts on this on whirlwind because it's so big, and um, you can't really. By the time you've wandered a zealot or a stalker over to the other side of the map, what are you hoping to achieve with that? I I don't know. I guess we're going to find out when he sends it. <laughs> if he sends it, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe he's worried about being metas, where you go, oh, I'll just Nexus first, and then they get a lucky uh, six pool uh, drone pool, and they find you first, and then you then you lose. I don't know if he's worried about that, but I wouldn't go this far. If you're worried about that, throw the forge down before your Nexus. Simple. Simples. Simples, of course. Meerkats. Meerkats are simples. Um, I don't know. Compare the market is such a good advert. If you've never seen Compare the Meerkat YouTuber, it's definitely worthwhile. But for the moment, the Mothership Court is on its way out, just as I expected. And we should see a Nexus follow this up. Yeah, I would definitely hope so. I would well, definitely I hope it so. It could be fun to have a one base. <laughs> but there we go. Uh, the Nexus is coming up, and it is, of course, the more appropriate decision to make on the, a map this size. Now... What do you reckon is going to be mid-game? What do you reckon will be the mid-game choice of history? Uh, of history, I don't know. Stargate play is so good on this map because of the size. Also the fact that because of the size, uh, Zergs can go meter, and it's quite comfortable for them to do that. And it just, if you go for Stargate play, you can, you can then respond appropriately and throw down a second one and pump out loads of Phoenix. I'd, I'd prefer him to go Stargate, but we'll see if he goes for Robo and goes for a bit more of a powerful composition. A bit more of a powerful composition is always fun to see, but for the moment these Zerglings just coming to take a look up here and they will see the double gateway. So therefore can deduce that this, obviously due to the Mothership Core as well, wasn't a fast Nexus, was in fact a gateway expand. And that's a big well, giveaway. You can adapt when you take this third, and that's the important thing for Dabu. Yeah, well he, he actually ran the Zerglings way before he scouted the second gateway. It's a yeah. slight mistake here, so he still might think this is a Nexus first. Well, no, he can't because he saw the mothership call. Oh, oh God, yes. Of There's course. no way the mothership call oh, yeah, could be out. Yeah, the cyber call. God, yeah. the things I forget. Don't worry, it is fine. And of course, Dabu's counter to this is to reactionarily make a lot of zerglings. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh, you missed my troll completely there. <laughs> what? What? Did, what? Did, oh, what? I said reactionarily made a lot of zerglings to Reaction respond to this. Reactionarily, really. Yes, really. Anyway, Good we do English. have the circlings running across here. And, here and now these feedlings are going to try and get in. Oh, the sentries. Sentries, you need to throw down a force field. Thank there you. There we go. One, oh, one some circlings in there still. Run away, sentry. Oh, Ooh. lucky sentry. Full HP. Wow. That's sentry. He, he loves to play chicken. That's no. fine. 
Living life dangerously. Standing on the train tracks facing down a train like, not yet, not yet. That is, that is swag sentry. Hashtag YOLO. That is, <laughs> that's his motto. He, if, he could, if he had enough energy to spell out YOLO with force fields, that is what that sentry would do. Yes, of course sentries cannot talk about our machines. He might make a booping sound, but that means yellow. Yep, <laughs> it's it's been changed. <laughs> it just auto tweets it constantly. Now the third base on its way out for Dabu here, and these zerglings haven't done enough damage. No, they haven't, and it's wasted. It's wasted lava at the end of the day. These got sitting out on the map instead of in drones getting more money back home. Um, it wasn't a good reaction. I think it's fair to say. No, it's it's kind of relying on your the other player either making a, a massive mistake. Or playing incredibly greedy, and I mean you can't you can't expect that of, of players in the, at this kind of level of performance. No, they're not they're not going to risk it. Now these openings are going to try and go for push number two, but now with the zealot there and four sentries not going to occur. There's the more the robotics bay on its way, so that means the colossi will be hitting the field shortly. And without a third, a quite an interesting strategy, but the overlord will not be able to scout it. But does see that no, absolutely nothing coming out of that robotic facility. Yeah, he does, so he shouldn't be too worried. Again, with the, the sentry count only at four, he shouldn't be too worried about an immortal sentry, lack of gates. But yeah, didn't scout the robo base, so Colossus is going to come straight out here, going for the more powerful robo composition rather than the more agile Stargate one. And that isn't a huge issue, to be honest, because he's turtling up. He wants to tech up. He wants to just get out a lot of units. He's got so many sentries that he can get tons of force fields if needed. And Dabu... He's not that far ahead in terms of the worker count. 57 to 48. He does no. now have his third up. Going for the lair, the 1-1 one, one, and Baneling Nest. Yeah, he's going for Muta. With the 1-1, one, yeah. one, it's the, the melee attack. And with the Baneling Nest, it just cements it. He's going to go for Muta, which is so good on this map. Especially against a Robocom. So, and it's really uh, cool as well. Because Mutalist play, as you said, on this map, it's great. But with the 1-1 one, one upgrades, that'll be a quick 2-2. Two, two, likely a very quick um, hive as well. And that just means that you can take up to those ultras, which so, so many Zerg players have been doing recently. Yeah, they, they've just received that massive buff, turning their damage into flat rate instead of a bonus versus armored. And, I mean, we're forgetting again that Zerglings, Zerglings are really, they have really high DPS. If you can eliminate all the things that kill their squishiness, like the Zealots and uh, the Colossus, they, they're incredibly powerful. And when you see them going muter, they need to make more Stalkers. But They do. That hallucinated Phoenix got in, so as a response, he has got double Stargate going down. Going to try and pump Phoenix out to counter this. And actually seeing that Spire so early on, and he's got the Observer just sitting over it as well, just means that with that double Stargate, he's going to get so many Phoenix. And with good micro, you're fine against that. You yeah. will literally destroy... And I love this decision here. He's going to push out across the map and go put the pressure on the Zerg. And look, there is the Spine Wall of the Natural. Yeah. But, yeah. The Colossus can chip it away, though. That's the big problem. But the, the third, the one the place... third is exposed. Look at that. That's I, the that's gonna be the bullseye. Yeah, I mean, maybe these are desperation spines, and he's like, look, I'm just gonna sacrifice the third, and that's it. Yeah. Fifty zerglings in production. Wow, just pushing out on the map has pulled out such a huge response. But it's it's really important that he moved out across the map because the one place that a zerg player doesn't want to use his muters is in a straight up fight at his own base he wants to keep you in your own base trying to defend your probe lines but if you're already at his base when the muters pop he has to fight you there he has no choice and now look at this drones already getting pulled this is this is going to be tough there are corruptors on their way out but this third base is going to fall and without a third base you just cannot be Competitive. You have to do something massive now as a Zerg player, otherwise you're going to get so far behind. Yeah, and the strength decision to go for the Corruptors here, he's got the Infestation Pit almost finishing now, and he's not going to have our Infestors out in time. We can only think he's going for Swarmhost to try and hold this off due to the low Colossus count. And Dabu, he's just not reacting to what's occurring that well. Wow. No, and going straight up to Hive as well. Looks and, like he's yeah, two basing this. He's just like, I guess, I guess I'll get corruptors and ultras, because I can afford that off of two bases. But one thing we have to remember: this is a very large Ling army. It has got one one against Protoss's one one. But there's oh god, there's no force fields there, and this is exactly what he needed. The only thing oh, that's the force fields never went down. The mass recall oh, not going to occur. And he loses everything. And Dabu back in the driving seat now. He may have lost the base, but he just sank the entire Protoss army. He can go and counter now quite effectively. 
Yeah, he can, especially since the Void Ray count is low. He's got two about to pop, but only Phoenixes versus Corruptors, and not really much on the ground. He can go definitely get a cancel on that third, and actually it's going to finish. He can go kill it. He come, and that will be huge. It'll be a massive loss. The Corruptors are on their way forward. Obviously not going to be able to do too much. There are some Void Rays about to hit the field, but I'm surprised the Taboo not going to try and punish this at all. Yeah, I'm surprised he isn't as well. Maybe he's worried about any kind of counter pressure, but Ling, as we said, that Ling's are tearing across the map now, and he's like, right, I smell blood. He's going. He doesn't know the third's down, though, yet. That's the one big thing, Greedy. He needs to go in there, scout that out, and be, hey, third, I better go and kill that. Yeah, he really does need to do that. It's kind of sloppy if he doesn't, but here we go. Zergling's going to go in and go, oh, free base, thank you. Now, the one thing, considering the hive's out early and there's a heavy Zergling play, the one thing I want more than anything is to see Adrenal Glands come Adrenal down. Adrenal Glands and the fast 3-3. Three, 3-3's three, three. Three, already gone down. People always forget to get that, but those Corruptors are just massacring those Void Rays, killing all the Phoenixes as well. Granted, the majority of the Zergling army has been cleaned up, but he just killed two Void Rays there. That was, that was really worth it in exchange for the Lings. Put major pressure on the third. Got quite a few probe kills as well. 19 probes have gone down. But there's still no Adrenal Glands. It makes me... It makes me visibly shake and watch it's, spawning it's calls when there's most, no adrenal glands. It's one of it's the just, best upgrades that everyone forgets. It's so cost effective. Like, the increase you get for that, and how, just how powerful it makes Zerglings is insane. Yeah, there it is. It's gone down now. It's essentially like getting plus four. Plus four attack. It's, it's like, ridiculously it's, good. It's, it's, it's great. It's like that Ultralisk armor. You, you need it. It just makes such a world of difference. Uh, but still no adrenal glands. 3-3 is half, well, a quarter to a third done. Meanwhile, Dabu has got his fourth base on its way. The third is still secured, though, for history. If we take a look at the work count, 69 to 59 in the Zerg player's favour. Yeah, and I mean, he sacked a lot of probes there, but he is, but he is behind because he had to sacrifice that third base. He has been making a lot of lings instead of drones. So I'm, I would like to see him drone up and really just push this. But there you go, big power units coming out. Kiteness plating already on the way. Oh, I love Ultras. I do love Ultras. They are they are brilliant. Now, of course, a couple of Zerglings were just poking in. Adrenal glands is two-thirds done. I'm happy now. I'm happy now, Greedy. And I think your phone was next to your microphone there, Ow. But that is fine. We do, of course, have the infestation pit down, so... There is also the option for some a couple of investors going into the late game. Should we see history try and get down a good number of blink stalkers or anything like that? But I doubt he will at this stage. But oh my god, look at what he's coming out! Void rays and immortals. Uh, he's prepared for ultralisk. He's preparing really hard. It's like, hey bro, I think you're probably going to go ultra, so I guess I'll make everything that counters them. <laughs> yeah. Those hallucinated phoenixes, he's done such a great job with those of keeping on top of his play. And Legit, hallucinated phoenix not taking an upgrade, or hallucination not needing an upgrade, is one of my favourite changes in Heart of the Swarm. It's made yeah. Protoss so much more dynamic. And, and it looks like they're trying to make just as monumental a change with Zerg and Burrow. Yeah, definitely. So, um, yeah, let's just take a look at what Dabu needs to do now. He's got a decent count of Corruptors. But as that void ray count gets higher, it's going to get a bit more scary. But the lucky thing is the void rays will have to prioritize either killing ultras or killing corruptors. And that's where things get a bit more difficult for them. Yeah, it does. And here we go. He's actually going to push right up on in here and say hello, immortals, and void rays out of position. And he can actually kill quite a bit here. If he yeah, he could even get the nexus, to be honest. Yeah, and there we go. A few ultras spreading off and forcing the army back. Ultras have charged. Void rays have charged up now. And God, those ultras melt so quickly. But going for that probes instead, and wow, just killed so many probes right there. And that Nexus is going to go down as well. 52 probes killed this game. Nexus goes down. Uh, the Void Ray charge is gone. This Corruptors can now engage. He needs to put the Corruption on them and target them down one by one, which he is doing. And if he kills all those Void Rays and goes back home, I think it's a pretty even trade, to be honest. It is, because you'll get the Colossus as well. We can see that the remaining Ultra is nearly going to make it. The Mothership Core going to die as well. Oh, and history, and he yeah, he's got a GTR because he was on he was on two bases. He was mined out pretty much at his natural. 